Hi, my name is Tina Bassett-Taller. I'm a mixed media artist from Nevada City. And this show is called Bent But Not Broken, A Scoliosis Journey Through Art. I grew up with a paintbrush in my hand. My mom's an artist and my dad's a house painter, so lots of paintbrushes around our house. And creativity was always um, a thread of our family and we were just born to create. And so artwork has been a part of my life for many, many years. But this last creation of this mixed media art uh, stems from seeing my daughter go through the process of beating her scoliosis and fighting to keep her back straight. And she gets MRIs of her spine and as an artist and a mother watching her go through this process, immediately I wanna take those images and process them in some way. And so this artwork is a reflection of that. I use her actual MRI of her spine and we have gone from curves in her spine and straightening out her spine through the treatment. So you'll see through this show all the, the levels of that. And I'm just so proud of her. She's such a warrior and I'm so happy and honored to celebrate this work of art for her. Um, many people know me as Tina Basich, which is my maiden name and my snowboarder name, you might say. I had a career in snowboarding for 20 years, starting in the late 80s. And so my connection to that started off with skateboarding as a young teenager. And I really grasped onto that group of people. And there are a lot of artists and free thinkers and wild people that will go charge the mountain with me. And so it only made sense to bring my artwork to my skateboarding, snowboarding family. And so I have put together a collection of boards with my graphics on them. About two years ago, I was watching a film called Heal. It's about people and how they use imagery and meditation, bringing themselves into their body to imagine what they want to happen and visualization, the power in that. And so I have always used visualization in my sport of snowboarding and visualizing myself going off that jump and landing that 720 and riding off. And I had never used visualization as a tool for healing. So I created this picture of the elephant with Addison's spine. And those are the curves of her spine. And I just thought of the most strongest, most powerful animal I could, which was the elephant. And he is pushing on that spine to push it straight, which is what her brace and her exercises do to push it straight to relieve the tension in her spine. So I created this picture for her as a visualization piece and we hung it above her bed and just kind of uh, tuned into that um, as she wished. And it has been very powerful um, for me to create that for her and I think it is helping. I grew up garage selling with my dad and searching for treasures. And so it um, feels natural to me to be drawn towards antique imagery and clip art and Infira, old postcards I collect from Germany with all of these flowers. So some of these pieces and layers are actual flowers from things that I've collected over years. I use sheet music in the background of the pieces, layering the papers. And I use this brilliant paint to kind of bring things to life with the layers. And then I also use metal objects and little uh, findings, keys and old metal parts. So the process is layering the pieces and the paint really brings it to life. So I also have been working on the hand-drawn focal points. So I'll draw a centerpiece and then layer it with all of the elements. So in this show, I have original mixed media collage pieces available. And then I also am drawn to a metallic finish with my art. It really seems to bring the layers to life. And so in the show, there's metallic prints that are kind of framed in a more modern off the wall. And then there's also some sublimation printing on recycled steel that are framed on wood from Texas, <laughs> of all things. When you see the show, you can kind of see the process of how I have evolved through my art over the last two years. This is a body of work since Addison's diagnosis. And the pieces speak to me in different ways and happen during different times of beauty and pain and struggle and triumph of, along our journey. So I hope that you can see um, beyond that even more and see if it speaks to you and see the beauty of our journey.
Addison and I created a website called scoliosiswarriorart.com, so you can always check in there to see what's available. All of the items that are in the gallery, anything that is a print, we can reproduce, so don't be scared to reorder or reach out if you see something in this video that you like. Later on, we can always get that made. You can find us on the web at scoliosiswarriorart.com for prints, the skateboards are available, and my originals. I'm also on Instagram at scoliosiswarriorart, which is scoliosis underscore warrior underscore art. If you're able to stop by and see the show, or if you're seeing this virtually, you can call in and also donate for a $10 raffle ticket, which you don't need to be present to win. There are four works of art available for that. I'm also doing this to raise awareness for scoliosis, so maybe you can pass this along to somebody, um, share the word about it. It is something that is not easy to detect or diagnose, so it goes unseen for many years even until it's um, obvious, which means it's a severe case. So we were lucky enough with Addison to discover it at a 10-year-old wellness check, and that's why we were having success at keeping ahead of the curve, you would say. The proceeds from the show will go towards Addison's non-surgical treatment that we're doing at the Scoliosis Care Center down in Campbell, California. We are so grateful that this treatment and these group of doctors have figured out a way to push her back into a more corrective position and find relief so that Addie can be doing back bends and cartwheels and have a flexible spine for the rest of her life. So we we're so grateful for that treatment and we will be um, continuing it for a couple more years. So we're not at the finish line yet, but we appreciate all of your support.